the throttle, I mean, as absolutely small as you possibly can. Okay. We want to keep the RPMs as low as possible. Mm -hmm. Put your left hand on the key. Mm -hmm. Keep your right hand on the throttle. Uh, actually, bring your right hand over the mixture okay. and get ready with your thumb. Okay. And go ahead and crank. And when the engine kicks over, push the mixture in rich and let go of the key. Okay. Okay. Yep. So that's a lot of steps to remember, and you're going to get the hang of that over time. But now's a good time to verify with the checklist. So fold, fold it over to the starting check. So we've done that. Now with the starting, we've done the master beacon throttle mixture. The yellow is the priming procedure. We did that. We cleared the area, turned it on, put the mixture in. We checked the oil pressure. We check, checked the amps. We put the throttle below 1,000, turned the avionics on, and that's where we stopped. So, now it talks about mixture, flaps, and aid. So mixture, what we do is we lean, uh, we lean it for the ground. If you go too far, the engine will shut down. That's about as far as you can go, right there. So what I do is I just bring it right back, just like that. Well, let's go ahead and push it in and then bring it back like I showed you. Whoops, I'll, I'll have the brakes here. Sorry. All right. Perfect, great. All right, then come over here and bring the flaps up, please. Great. All right, good job looking over left and right on your shoulder, making sure it comes up fine. Good, all right, so that's pretty much the starting checklist. Now we're starting to figure out, hey, which runway do we need to use? Where are we gonna go on the airport? And the way we figure that out is with the, uh, the last item on the before the starting engine. What we do here is I just do another foil just to make sure and then it'll lead us to the radio. So if you want to both shut off and trim, you know the drill, mixture back, throttle is good below a thousand. Our appropriate lights are on. Indeed, we can turn our taxi light on actually. Good, and then during the day on the ground, I, I like to put my strobe lights on actually, especially when it's kind of foggy or a little misty. Okay, taxi Good. strobe. Good, circuit breakers are in. Uh, engine gauges are looking all right. Temp will come up. I have nothing to do over here. Now we come from the top to the bottom on our avionics stack and then we'll come over here. So first of all, press that, it says okay. Uh, we do not keep the database on this one current, we keep the database on this one current. Okay, notice it says 80 miles. So double click, ring down, one, two, it says 20. Good, just a little bit bigger view of where we are. Okay, and we'll skip this, we'll come back to it. Now let's see, this is our weather frequency. I'll explain all of that later. But this is COM2, notice it says COM2. It's worn off right there, go ahead, press that. And we will listen to the altimeter setting, and then we'll set the altimeter setting in three places. But go ahead, press that. I have three, Zulu. And watch me write bomb. it down here. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, zero, niner, Celsius. Dew point, zero, six, Celsius. Altimeter, three, zero, one, eight. Aurora State Perfect. Airport. So that's the weather. Aurora, so Aurora. press that one again. Great, so the wind is calm. Calm wind runway is runway three, five. Uh, so we set our heading bug to 350. It's already there, right? That's the runway oh, yeah. we want it to yep. use. Okay. Good. 
now we set our altimeter three places. We do it once, twice, and then three times. So twist this till it says 3018. So it's a very small change. It should end up around 200 feet uh, field Zero. elevation. Zero. One eight. That's three zero two oh, zero. Yeah. Yep. That's Looks right, pretty perfect. Right there. Right there. Good. Yeah. Okay, and then come over here with the little knob, two clicks to the left, and it should be three zero one eight. Uh, counterclockwise. There you go. Perfect. Then go ahead, press enter. We'll press it a couple times. Press enter again. Enter one more time. Now we check the database, so the database is expired, so I'll change that today. Uh, that's just for flying in the clouds with the GPS. And press enter one more time. On this one, we set the altimeter and press enter four times. Then we come down here, this is our autopilot. We use the little knob, two clicks counterclockwise for 3018. And we just leave it, and it goes on, so. Okay. Excuse me. All right, so let's verify with our checklist again that we've done everything with uh, before st or starting check. Good, so coming down to the end, we did ATIS. Hey, let's try your seatbelt again. Let's try that. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a tough one, man. All right, we'll 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 wait for it till we go over there. <gasps> oh, yes! I think I got it. Nice. You uh, may need to open the going. door. I'll hold it for you. Traffic King here, 654, Fox Mike, just uh, taking runway 35. Be a right turn eastbound, Aurora. Thanks. 